what's up guys today i'm going to show you how to make a cache system in uh, scratch 3 top down shooter so let's get started create a new sprite with paint and name this coin then you can make a coin so here's a coin you can resize it if you want or make another one so let's start scripting 2x0 and y0 let's make a script when the green flag clicked hide then um, when I start as a clone let's make two variables enemy x for all sprites and enemy y for all sprites make them hidden then go to x enemy x and y enemy y and then uh, go to front layer and show then repeat until touching player turn 15 degrees and then make a variable called cache and make it hidden change cache by one and delete this clone and you can make an animation here 0 1 2 x 240 and y 180 now go to enemy make your uh, set enemy x to x position and set enemy y to y position when it dies and create clone of coin we should make a coin here whenever an enemy will die and it will increase our cache go to backdrops set cache to zero when the green flag lit let's check now let's burn the coin and the cache is increased now we can make a UI system Um, renderer you have to you need this 1 to 9 and then 0 and then cache and score the center then we can start scripting the renderer when the green flag clicked and then create a my block build number start start number run without screen refresh should be checked uh, checked and make two variables clone number and clone id for the sprite only then set clone number to start and then take your uh, clone number change clone number by one repeat number times change clone number by one and create a clone of myself then when I start as a clone oh sorry go to when the green flag clicked and add your build build 3 from starting from 0 this should be our first 3 numbers that will render cache when I start as a clone, set clone ID to clone number and then uh, uh, show, go to front layer and then forever add an 
fs if letter clone id of the variable we want uh, is the cache of cache is equal to null just by escape the values here is equal to null then hide or else show and switch to costume letter clone id of cache this would make a variable for the clone which is clone id and it will set it to clone number from the values who are driven from the sprite so this would be a clone variable and if we change it in the sprite it won't affect this variable but if we change clone number it would be affected in the whole sprite and clone so we make two variables now let's see we built three uh, we add have to add something add a move 10 steps here or go to edit add spacing and then spacing and put the spacing here I want spacing 10 or make the cache hidden let's see it is on x0 and y0 let's set the coordinates it will be on x uh, minus 200 and y 170 uh, 170 yeah let's see no 160 will be better now this is good put it here let's see uh, the score is 0 uh, the cache is 0 let's play uh, 2 points 1 and 2 so it's working let's check with double digit the 10th so 10 it's supporting 2 digits 